from the Greer School studio to your classroom. This is Greer TV. And joining us are this week's anchors, Leah Buck and Sophia Prieto. Welcome back to Greer TV. We're your hosts, Leah and Sophia. Today is Friday the 15th of April 2022. And we're sponsored by the Greer Store. Hey Sophia, have you felt all the pollen lately? People look gross. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Only anchors oh are my allowed to my allergies! Oh my allergies! Oh my President of the AV Club, I regret to inform you that Abby has been permanently removed from all broadcasting activities and Leah is recovering in the infirmary. Please keep her in your thoughts. Let's go check on her. Uh. So now that we're back, happy birthday this week to Taylor Allen, Leo Buck, Shion Takano, Catherine Wagner, Katie Nguyen, Khalila Saeed, Nova Persio, Jada Sneed, and Mary Beth Waite. Congratulations again to all of our amazing Greer athletes. Our fabulous Greer Fox 5K is gearing up for Saturday, April 23rd at 9 a.m. the day after Earth Day. Sign-ups will include a t-shirt and your 5K number. See Dr. GB with any questions. In honor of Poetry Month and School Library Month, visit the library during April for some fun and chance to win prizes. Hunt for poetry, Easter eggs, and when you think you found them all, enter your guess. The closest guesses will win prizes. While you're visiting, take a look at our display of novels in verse and add your own lines in the big collaborative felt board poem. Greer has been invited to participate in a math competition as pe at Penn State Altoona. And if you're in 9th to 12th grade and you are interested in participating, please see Miss Kelly in room 206 to sign up and pick up your first practice test. And now here are some clips made by our AV Club students. This week, we celebrated the birthdays of Auden Reed, Harriet, and Nicole Greer. We also enjoyed the lovely music played by Mr. Minnick and Mrs. Wong. On Sunday, we all came together to celebrate our amazing varsity athletes at the Blair County Convention Center. Students in Miss Andre's 10th grade English classes acted out scenes from Death of a Salesman. And now for Bridge Club's Woman of the Week. Anita Garavaldi was born in 1821 and lived until 1849. She was the legendary love who shaped the life of Giuseppe Garibaldi, the father of modern Italy, born to a poor family in Brazil. Anita met the young revolutionary Garibaldi when he came to the country for the Ragamuffin War. A skilled and courageous horsewoman, she taught him the gacho way of life and joined him on the battlefield. They fought together with many rebel groups across South America, including the Battle of Caratabanos, where she was captured by their adversaries and told that Giuseppe had died. She searched the battlegrounds and when she didn't find his body, she escaped on horseback and crawled through the woods for four days without food or water until she was reunited with the rebels in Giuseppe, all while pregnant with their first child. Together in 1848, they traveled to join the war for a liberated and united state of Italy. Anita passed away a year later during a defeat when Giuseppe rode out to the hall to the new king of a united Italy in 1860. He wore Anita's striped scarf as tribute. teaching math. It's the subject that I get most nerdily excited about and I'm excited to share that with my students. Uh, it's what I went to school for and I view every day as just like a little challenge puzzle to solve. So, and it's the funnest subject. I can't spell and I like numbers. Teaching all girls over a co ed school. 
Having taught in public school, I think it's so exciting to be here at Greer and have only girls. I think it's so neat to see the girls um, participate, talk to one another, and sometimes in public school they tend to hide, where we don't have that here, so I enjoy hearing just from the girls. I assign different homework based on the class. Um, every class, every day for me, ends at a different spot. So if uh, my class doesn't end at the same spot or we don't cover the same things as another class, I'm always going to kind of switch up what we do for homework. I give my favorite students the easy homework and I give my least favorite students the hard homework. High level math skills are important in daily life. So even though um, you may not use the actual concepts that we learn in math, problem solving, um, just learning how to work around things that you don't know, learning how to do things that you don't know, it teaches you later on in life how to teach yourself things that you may not know how to do. I mean really, rather than just the, the skills or the concepts specifically, you know, it's the process, the, the logic, the thinking through something, piecing different factors together. You might not get the algebra right, but the process of thinking through something is, is all around you. Friday's trips include recycling at 1 p.m. and Easter egg hunt from 6 to 9 p.m. Also, tree sorting for Sustainable Sisters will be at 2 p.m. Everyone should meet up at the upper parking lot by the tennis courts. Saturday's trips include a trip to the King of Prussia Mall at 10 a.m., a Grow Club marathon, and a Penn State soccer game. Sunday's trips include going to the movies at 12.15 with Mr. Lang. This, this is Greer TV signing off. off. See you next week. And we're out of here. <laughs>